right guys, so doing a quick post-purchase inspection for this customer. He just picked up this 2019 Freightliner Cascadia. I'm gonna show you how many miles it has. Uh, this is why it's important to do a pre-purchase prior to the purchase, not after. Okay, keep that in mind. I'm gonna show you a few things on this video, this little clip, let me know what you guys think. Again, get it inspected before you buy it, and this is why, again, take a look for yourselves. All right, so I just quickly wanted to show you compression test. Again, this is the same truck we are working on. Last six of the VIN, to, to, there we go. Kilo Charlie 5153, and did a compression test. And the last cylinder, number six, failed, 78.5. Now this is just based on what the computer calculates as a failed cylinder, okay? A valve adjustment may help it, or we, there may be something internally going on with this particular truck. So again, get that pre-purchase inspection before you buy it, guys. I hope this helps you guys out. Um, again, just anything that can help you guys, because again, these trucks are expensive, even a used truck, you know, $75,000, $80,000, whatever you got going on. So hope this helps out. Okay guys, really quick, just want to show you, it's got 555,000 miles, just shy of 556, okay? I'm doing a parked regen. Um, now I know it's not the best test to put this thing under, but again, you're putting it under a regen, under a load per se. I do have the AC on, okay? And I want you to look at the NOx efficiency. NOx, uh, NOx efficiency right now is about 70%, 74%. Double check that. Seventy percent. So that's very low for only having five hundred and fifty-five thousand miles. And this is the best the NOx efficiency is getting. It dropped from like ninety-two percent, ninety-something percent, all the way down to seventy percent. So that tells me this one box itself is failing. The filters are failing, or something else is going on. And again, if this truck has thirty days to take it back, or within thirty days, I would say take this thing back and have them fix it, replace it, or get your money back. To me, this is not acceptable 70% NOx efficiency. And again, this is a parked efficiency. This is only gonna get worse, this will not get better. So again, pre-purchase inspection is just that, before you buy it. Let me know what you guys think. I hope this video helps you guys out. Again, pay someone a little bit of money, take a look at it, and find out for yourself what the numbers are. Everything else looks pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Truck looks good, smells good. It's got a few things that are red flags in my opinion. I'm gonna show you those in a second, but pressure's good. SCR, look at that, 70%, 69. So technically anything below 70 or below or 69% and below is failing. So keep that in mind. Guys, I hope this guys, uh, I hope this helps you guys out, especially if you're spending this kind of money, you know, 60, 75,000 dollars, 80,000 dollars. I mean, again, keep this in mind. Hope this helps. Guys, have a great weekend, just a quick video. All right, just finished a regen, and the numbers will always go up once the regen is done. Again, that to me is still kind of funny because again, the regen, the efficiency is pretty low considering this thing only has 555,000 miles. Keep that in mind, guys. To me, this truck is no good. I would definitely take it back and have them replace that one box or just simply cancel the deal. Again, I don't know what the terms are for this particular truck, but just to give you an idea, there it is, 2019. It does have, uh, let me get to the other screen here, give me one second, 555,000 miles. So keep that in mind. I hope this helps you guys out. Have a great weekend. Talk to you all later.